It's over, ladies and gentlemen. It is over. I'm not even in pain, bro. Last game, we blew a 20 point lead, lost by a game winner, pain. This game, disappointment. Let's talk about the positives. There's only like two. Number one, AD bought out. Number two, Gabe did his best. That's all I got for the positives. Negatives, LeBron James. Didn't play a lick of defense tonight. Didn't box out Aaron Gordon in multiple possessions. Like, I don't let the box score fool y'all. If you watched the game, you knew that Bron wasn't on his A game tonight. Maybe the age is actually catching up to him. While the time is right on that ass about to knock him the fuck out. That's what it's looking like right now. D-Lo. D'Angelo Russell. Oh, you're going to go into your Discord, right? You're going to go into your Discord and say, I told y'all I was going to make them bitches. Don't give up on us. Let's let's see. Let's see the final box score, D-Lo. Let's let's see this, man. Let's let's see. Let's see this, D-Lo. Let me make sure I'm my All right, cool, cool. Y'all see this, right? Y'all can see it, right? I don't know why my camera is not on again, but cool. 112, 105 Lakers. Anthony Davis, 33 points, 16 rebounds. He did his thing. He did what he was supposed to do. LeBron James, 26, 9, and 6. Doesn't tell the full story. Was lacking on defense. Austin Reeves. You know, I want to give Austin Reeves a pass so bad because he has to guard Jamal Murray. But, like, at the same time, it's like, bro, what did we even do last year? Who was guarding Jamal Murray last year? It was Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder was guarding Jamal Murray last year. I think last year we started Dennis, D'Lo, Reeves, LeBron, and AD. They put Dennis on Jamal. Jamal's going absolutely stupid. How much Jamal had tonight? Jamal had 22. I wish I could see the sh shooting splits, but I can't right now, but... Bro, it's just like, Austin Reeves, he's doing a decent job. He's not doing that bad of a job. Jamal Murray is just elite, bro. He's just elite. Vando coming back is not really going to stop him. Vando hasn't played basketball in two months. Gabe Vincent is doing a pretty good job with him too, but he doesn't have the height when Jamal Murray's in the post, you feel me? So he can only do so much. But him chasing him around the screens and shit, pretty good. Rui Hashimura, make a layup challenge. Impossible. So many easy layups he had during this series, and he just shitted on himself, bro. I just don't understand. I, what's going on, bro? Like, last year, I guess it's because there's expectations this year. Like, better expectations. Like, oh, yeah, you got that monkey on your back. Denver owns y'all, and y'all niggas got to get y'all get back. And niggas just start to fold under the pressure, bro. That's what it looked like to me. You feel me? Like, Rui was snapping in the first round last year. I think the second round he did all right. Reeves was snapping in the first round last year and the second round, and he did pretty decent in the third round too against the Nuggets, but he gonna need so much because he didn't have to worry about guarding Jamal Murray, bro. Last year, they just left it to Dennis, like, Dennis, you go guard Jamal, Reeves, you need you for offense. Now, this year, they try to make him to a two-way player, shit not gonna work, bro. It's not working. Well, well, well. <laughs> I can't even highlight it because they know it's shitty. Look, Google's like, no, f*** that. This play shitty. Yeah, go Russell. Where's the, where's it at? Is it right here? Try it. 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 Yeah, I gotta look at the full box score, bro. Oh yeah, by the way, did you guys, did your NFL team draft who I wanted? Let me know down in the stream chat. Okay, here we go. We got a much clearer picture of what went on tonight. So we're gonna start with the Lakers. We know the Rui Hachimura was a minus 12. He shot two. He only took four shots, bro. He only had two rebounds, bro. Anthony Davis was the only person on the glass tonight. Gabe Vincent had more rebounds than Rui. Ah, I didn't even know that. Wow, that just made shit 10 times worse. Um, D Lo, zero points. Only a minus six. Don't let that fool y'all. It was a brick. Only two assists. 0 for 7 from the field, 0 for 6 from 3. I ain't gonna lie, he might delete his Discord tonight. Please delete your Discord. Like, or just pause it or freeze it or something, bro. Because at this point, I'm about to flame y'all, bro. I hope y'all have the top of the top mods in that bitch. Because they about to, boy, that Discord's about to be flooded with non Laker fans and Laker fans. And they're about to be talking so much trash. So D Lo. Elo, I was on your side, my boy. You snapped last game, but in the playoffs, you gotta be able to you gotta be able to repeat the shit. You feel me? So, yeah, bro. 
Austin Reeves, 22 points, minus four, five rebounds, three assists, four steals. Damn. I didn't know you had four steals. I didn't watch the rest of the game, so I'm not sure, like, how many of these points were garbage buckets, but I'm pretty sure, like, five to seven of them was. Torian Prince, seven points, three for seven from the field. Harry Giles, don't, want, don't know why we picked him up at all. Colin Castleton, young bull, he ain't getting no burn. Spencer Dinwiddie, he's the only plus in our lineup. Insane. And then Gabe Vincent was just a zero. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Hurt. Max Christie, please leave Max. Max, please. I got faith in Max. He's a hooper. He could be a solid 3 and D guy under the right coach. Matter of fact, Max, go to the Heat. Go to the Heat, bro. See if they'll pick you up. Because they need... They need another two-way player over there, bro. Go to Heat, bro. Because what the Lakers are doing right now, bro. Let me, let me move chat up here. I can't even see shit. There we go. I don't know what y'all saying. You don't want Max Christie. Bro, I'm telling you. Max Christie under Colt Spolstra would be a problem. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Max Christie, that's the only young guy I'll vouch for on this team, bro. We didn't see no Max Lewis. We didn't see. This is what I don't understand. Jackson Hayes, zero minutes, zero. Like, what did the Lakers shoot from three, bro? They shot five for 27, five for 27. AD had most of our rebounds. They had 51 rebounds as a team on the Nuggets, bro. Aaron Gordon himself had 15. Even MPJ had 10, bro. So you know who smart idea it was to go with a small lineup? Yes, yes, I'll give you three guesses. If you don't get it the first time, it's okay. If you don't get it the second time, it's cool. You get three guesses. Guess. Guess who great idea it was. He saw that we were shooting like shit. And instead of going big to get rebounds too, guess what he did? He put even more perimeter players out there. Just guess who? Guess who, man? Y'all got this, man. It's not going to take that long. Go ahead. Just guess. Just guess, bro. You got this. I believe in you. Darvin Steak. Darvin Ham. <laughs> hamster bruh i just oh yo the only good thing about tonight was that the crowd started chanting fire darvin ham the only great thing tonight you know what i've been waiting for that good job lakers fans great job that's what i've been waiting for this whole time i've been waiting for to start chanting that bro and if genie bus chooses darvin ham over anthony davis I might have to put my resignation letter in, bro. Any teams, any of y'all hiring, bro? Y'all hiring new fans? Because if she does that, bro, if she does that, it's going to cause mayhem, bro. I promise you. Bron, Bron, if she does that, Bron, please leave. And I can't wait to see this part in the documentary because I know yo slick ass was recording this because we saw the last dance. You saw what Jordan did. You know you gotta have a documentary at the end of your season. Nigga, the greatest of all time, you have to have something. So I can't wait to see this segment and his documentary. I swear, bro. I promise, bro. He had his first sentence has to be Darvin Ham was the worst coach I ever had in my whole NBA career. That would just blow up everything. D Lo got booed as he should have. Darvin Ham got booed as he should have. The only people that are untradeable are Anthony Davis. LeBron James, I ain't gonna lie. I'm willing to give Gabe Vincent another chance next year. He was hurt most of the season. Bad luck. Every time you get a Heat player, they just get hurt. First it was Kendrick Nunn. Now it's Gabe Vincent. I'm willing to give Gabe Vincent another chance. Everybody else can go. Yes, even Reeves. And I love Reeves. But if there's a superstar out there that you can get, preferably Donovan Mitchell. Like I just saw them get blown up by 40 tonight. If the Magic win that series, I'm praying that Donovan Mitchell is on the Lakers. I mean, with our front office, I don't even know. We might fuck around and get somebody ass. They might fuck around and go get Clay Thompson and give him a big deal, even though he's like 37, 38. I mean, playing like shit. But at the same time, it's like there's a little bit of hope that the Lakers can right this ship. It's a little bit. Like, you can barely see through that. You, you can see through that, right? Like, just a little bit. It's a little bit. A little bit. It's a little bit. A little bit of hope that we can get either Trey Young or we can get Donovan Mitchell. Just a little bit of hope. Even though I see Trey Young going to the Spurs, 
even though I saw some reports saying that they don't want Trey Young, I'm like, bro, Trey Young would be the perfect fit next to Victor Webinyam. Imagine that pick and roll. That's either a Trey floater or a Trey lob to Victor every single time. If he can have Clint Capella averaging good numbers, imagine what Victor would average because he can ISO, he can post up, he can do all that other shit too. Capella is just a, a rebinding machine that just get occasional lobs. Imagine him and Victor, bro. If they get DeJounte Murray back too, that'd be fire, but I think Trey Young's a better fit. But overall, blow the team up, blow the coach up. I don't want to see Darvin Ham in another head coaching position unless it's for the Celtics. <laughs> no cap, but yeah, I'm not even mad, bro. There's no point in being mad. GG's Nuggets, y'all the better team. Like, we show that the Nuggets are beatable. We just can't do it because we suck. But one of these other teams, whereas the Wolves... I don't know about the Thunder. I don't know about the Thunder at all. I mean, the Thunder, I'm not really done. I can't give them that much credit, but at the same time, they handle business with the Pelicans with no Zion. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I'm on the fence with the Thunder still. I got to see them. If they if they finish this series without giving the Pelicans another like chance of winning, then I'll be... like they dominate them game... What games are coming up? Four, three and four. If you dominate the Pelicans, then I'll have hope. But if you let them steal one at their crib, eh... Especially with no Zion. Eh. But nah, the only chance of a team. Oh, Mavericks. Mavericks. Duh. Duh. Mavericks. Mavericks. Luka the Don. Kyrie Irving. That's the only other team. Right now, it's Mavericks and Wolves. Those are the only two teams I can see beating the Nuggets. And the Lakers show the blueprint. You just gotta. I don't know, bro. The only good thing about the Mavericks is even if the Mavericks freelance, you got Luka and Kyrie Irving, two of the best ISO players in the game. Whereas the Lakers, it's old as LeBron trying to ISO. LeBron, yo, LeBron be pissing me off sometimes, bro. Y'all be seeing LeBron? He do the same thing. He be like, uh, 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 stiff ass between the legs. Uh, uh, uh. And then you know he's going to go to his right hand and try to drive by you with his right hand. If he goes left, he's going to go left, either do that weak ass spin move, or he's going to try to reverse it with his right hand. Like, LeBron, it's okay, bro. They got you figured out. You don't have to be out here ISOing, bro. You're about to be 40. It's okay, bro. It's okay. But yeah, Mavericks and Wolves are the only West teams I can see beating the Nuggets. On the East side, I I don't see any team beating them, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Giannis is hurt right now. He's not playing tomorrow. Um, Who else? Who else? The Heat with no Jimmy Butler. I love the Heat. I love their adjustments, but we saw what happened last year. So I'm not sure how much of a bigger difference it would be. If they met again, because Jimmy's out for what a few weeks, right? Or is he out indefinitely? I'm not sure. You got the scout report on Bron. Bro, I'm telling you, I'll be watching Lakers games, bro. He just does the same shit every single time, bro. It's not his fault though. We got a 40 year old man playing 42 minutes, bro. 42 minutes, like, all right, bro. Like, this is worse than them last years of Kobe's career, like where our roster was shit. Because this year, we actually had, like, hope. Like, they actually gave us hope. Like, oh, we in the playoffs? Oh, we can make some noise. Whereas, when we had that shit roster, it was like, Kobe got hurt. It was like, Jody Mix, Kendall Marshall, Ryan Kelly, Xavier Henry, Robert Sacre. Who we have off the bench? At one point, we had Lou Williams, Swaggy P, Wesley Johnson. Yo, y'all remember Wesley Johnson in 2K, like, 13, 14? He used to be a bucket, but we had old ass Wesley Johnson. He used to always cook us when he was on the Clippers, but then he joined the Lakers and just lost all his superpowers. That's usually how it goes, you feel me? But this hurts more than that, bro. And I feel like, also, this is, like, payback. All the years that Kobe shitted on the Nuggets... That's the payback from the Nuggets. They're like, oh, all right, bet. Now we can shit on y'all. We got the better players, got the better coach. Now it's our turn. You feel me? Because all them times they met in the playoffs, Kobe will always shit on Melo and them. Now Jokic and Jamal Murray is like, oh, all right, bet. Now it's our turn. You feel me? So overall, I'm not even that mad, bro. GG's Nuggets. No team has ever come back from an 0-3 deficit. The closest team to do it was the Celtics last year, and they lost at home in Game 7 because they were just so gassed. Like, you got to understand how much energy it is to do that shit, bro. Like, it's what LeBron and them did in 2016. That's probably the closest thing. And even that is still a lot, bro. But that he was younger. That is five years old. Not even five years old. I'm tripping eight years older. That shit not happening again, bro.